Good morning, Pisces. How are you doing? What is going on this lovely Sunday morning? Okay. Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who wear your mask. Thank you for all those who get private readings and donate to my channel or go to my webpage and order my oils, salt baths, um, candles, juries, okay? Go on there. It's something for everybody. The subscriptions of the oil, what you can use, what you can do with it, is also on there. Everything has a subscription to it. Um, everything, ha I'm sorry, everything has um, direct, di uh, direction or um, tells you how to use it. Okay, everything. So you can look at it and say, I can use this for this or that for that. If you're feeling like, you know, you're being attacked, get the one that says, en keep enemies away. Whatever it is you like, you got it. Just look at the subscription. It tells you everything about the oil, whatever it is that you use it, whether it's the bath, oils, or whatever. I don't know what your situation is. Everybody goes through different situations, so check it out. Okay, so let's get moving. It is early. I woke up early, but uh, you know I got to take care of my animals, so that right there be all in the mix. Um, I don't know if I want to use these cards. Should I use them? Well, let's see. Well, let's see. Okay, well, first of all, what do I want to do? Um, which card do I want to pick up? Let's pick up one of these cards. Okay. Here we go. It says, empower one song. Allow yourself to see the light in others and you will be um, in your own being. Okay, you will illuminate the light in your own being. For when you hold others with deep respect, you shine, you shine that same light upon yourself. Let this light rage from deep within you, bringing energy of the power, prosperity, and courage to all who cross your paths. Okay, the process becomes easier and automatically wants you to remember that you are all one. You are being called upon to embody union, conscientiousness as a source of power into in the world, to chakra, the solar plex, okay? To make that's what we need to do. We need to empower others so that we can share that light in everyone else. And the more you share, the more you receive it. Huh. The more you share, the more you will receive it, it says. Uh, uh, let's see what else I want to do. Okay, let me get some of these queen cards and see what it's telling you. So whatever it is you need, people look up to you, Pisces. People look up to you. When you talk to people the way you are, people look up to you. Uh, don't expect, um, don't ever expect people to do the same things you do for them because it ain't going to happen. And I realize that sometimes, and I'm talking about here, here, right? Um, sometimes I don't understand how people are, but I really don't need to understand because everybody's not going to do what I do, okay? And I guess that's why 
I limit myself to um, doing things because I just feel like people are too much. All right, they're too much. And it's, it's sad the way they are with us, but keep shining a light on everybody. Okay, that's, that's what you need to do. And remember that nobody's going to do the things you do for them. Nobody is going to do it for you. Pisces, we have heart of gold. And people intend to, it's like, go to the apple. You got an apple farm. And let's go to pick the tree, the apples from the apple farm. Let's bake a pie <clears throat> from Lisa's apple farm. Let's not even give Lisa a jar of applesauce or pizza apple pie or apple dumplings or anything. Let's not give her nothing. Let's just forget. I forget about her as soon as we leave her apple farm. That's how people are. So you got to understand that if you think that people can give you back anything you give them, it ain't going to happen. But you keep shining light on others, and God will bless you. Not people, not humans, but God will in his own ways because people are all about self, and it's a damn shame that they are. Honey, that be they will be the first one to call out of work or anything just to make it to your event. But to think about you or anything when they get something, they don't think about shit. They'll tell you about it, but they ain't gonna invite you to anything. That's just the way people are. Uh tell me, Spirit, what I need to know to start this reading. Tell me, Spirit, what I need to know to start this reading. Tell me, Spirit, what I need to know to start this reading. Tell me, Spirit, what I need to know to start this reading. Tell me, Spirit, what I need to know. I want to... Tell me what I need to know, Spirit. Tell me what I... The tree, let them go. It literally said the tree, let them go. That's what the tree said on this. It said let them go. Now... That tree's on fire, so it could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But it says, let them go. Okay? Let them go. See you. Hasta la vista, baby. Right? While you sitting there wondering, you know, or going through whatever it is you're going through, Whatever don't serve you, like I said about the apple field, I don't know why I said that, about how you give, how you can give to humans, but just know that don't expect anything back from humans. Re expect it from God because it's, 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 it's not even worth sitting there wasting your breath or thinking that someone can be sweet to you when it's not going to happen. But it says, the tree, the tree, that tree is on fire, burning the fuck down, turning to ashes. Let it go. At least you're not right by the tree to get, you know, hurt. Just let the shit go. Let it burn down and let it go. Once it burned down, it ain't going to grow. It's all gone. Ashes. Rebuilt from it. Rebuilt from that. Plant a new damn tree where that one was. All right? Um, it says the sundress, do it for yourself. It says let them go and do it for yourself. Honey, it's winter time here. Winter time, you out there with a sundress. Honey, you are so grateful that it is snowing and it's falling on your face. The little flakes. You are just so happy. It doesn't even matter. You understand? It says let it go. Okay? And do it for yourself. Let it go. And do it for you. Right? It says. The sun. Paint the sun back into your life into the sky. So, check this out, Pisces. 
listen. Let it go. The tree is burning. So maybe you upset because it's burning. It's out of control. Okay? And you can't control it. So let it go. Because you can always plant another tree. But let that go. Right? It's nothing you can do about it. Let it go. And then it says, sundress, do it for yourself. Let it go and do this for yourself. So maybe all of this was going on during the summer months when it was warm out, right? But you still got on that sundress. Because right here you got on the dress. You still got on that sundress from the summer, baby. It's winter time. It's snowing. And it says, let it go. The, the tree is burning down. Let it go. And it says here, do it for yourself. Because you still got that dress on. And it's winter time, baby. Sometimes summer is so good that we don't want to let go. People still be wearing shorts and things like that. But, um... You know, sometimes you just don't want to let go of what you like that ain't for you. And it burnt down the ashes like it's supposed to do. Because, see, when things burn down, it's time to move on and rebuild. And that's what you need to do. Okay? Rebuild whatever it was. That you couldn't let go. Right? And then it says, it's still nighttime, right? And it says, paint the sun back into the sky. Paint that sun back into the sky. Paint it back. Because, like I said, whatever. It says, let them, the word is them, go. Whatever you had to let go. Whatever just burnt the fuck down to ashes. Remember, you rise again, right? And it says, do it for yourself. Rise again and paint the sun back <coughs> into the sky. It said, paint the sun back into the sky. And I want you to see this. To me, it looks dark there. It looks dark. But here you are painting that sun in a place that there was no sun. All right? And it's all good. Because at least you're doing it for yourself. All right? And remember, the word is them. It says, let them go. Let them go. Shit, it might be a whole bunch of people you got to let fucking go. It may be one, it may be a few. And it says, do it for yourself. Right? And you are enjoying this, that, that, that. Coldness, that cold, coldness, because I live here, and when it snows, it snow. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to be wearing a sundress out there in the snow when I know it's cold. Anybody that lives where it snow, y'all know when it snows, it is so fucking cold, your damn toes freeze. Okay? And that ain't no damn lie. Your whole hands go numb because your fingertips and all... Your nose, your cheeks, all that, your lips, okay? And she walking in that snow, standing there with a sun fucking dress. So you know she's cold as fuck. But it says, do it for yourself. Fuck that, do it for you, all right? And then it says, the sun, paint the sun back into the sky. Because where you was at, the sun had left. Right? Because when we go through things, we 
go so dark on ourselves that it ain't no light. So paint the sun, see the light. Give the plants light. Give your soul light. Okay? Give the world the light that you bring. That's the beautiful thing. Um, life is beautiful. It really is. And sometimes we make it so difficult. We make it difficult when it shouldn't be that damn difficult. It, it should not be that difficult the way we do it, but we do do it. We do it so bad, honey. We do ourselves so bad it's not even funny. We do ourselves that bad. Okay, we do us real bad. Um, let's see. Let's get the Art Michaels card. And these these cards, I wish they would have made them just a little bit smaller. Why? Because they so hard to shuffle, and I had them for a while. But and it seems like no matter how much you shuffle them. They still don't separate the way I want them to. They still be in a bundle. All right, here we go. Let's go with this reading. Now, here you have the Eights of Pentacles, and it says, a win fall of abundance, a wise choice, a wise counseling, a good fortune, an, ex an exciting career opportunity. <coughs> <coughs> okay. So go into your contact book because you're going to have a lot there. A significant purchase of a house or a vehicle. <clears throat> now, this young lady looked like she's young. For her to have that big ass castle, boy, she looked like she might have hit the lottery or something here. Okay? But she got her book, she wise. You know, it looks like this looked like the White House. Somebody is. <clears throat> It's getting that abundance, okay, receiving abundance. Um, why counseling somebody that is after letting go, after letting go, somebody here is going to receive a windfall of abundance. You're seeking that counseling, <clears throat> good fortune, an exciting career opportunity. Okay, um, a significant purchase of a house or, or a vehicle. Maybe some of y'all yet <clears throat> don't have your own. Maybe some of y'all still living with your kids or um, it's hard now to even get a place to live. It's crazy how <clears throat> people are afraid to rent after um, uh, the... Um, epidemic that we went through you know people went through a lot because you got people living in people's place without paying rent you know the banks still want their fucking money all right they don't give a fuck if whatever's going on they want their fucking money all right i mean people was losing their cars because they want their money they don't give a fuck you owe all this back money they want their money so a lot of people you know are not Live, got to live with their family now or however in their cars or whatever I've been through a lot you know and um because um they looking for a place to live but it's kind of hard these days people are not renting like they used to people don't want to deal with people okay because they are afraid all right of the way economy is I'll tell you it's got you got I'm telling you it's it's crazy but um but I feel like somebody is now gonna purchase a new house or a new vehicle or something significant a significant purchase but you get a windfall of abundance a windfall of abundance can come in many different forms okay it don't have to come in money 
okay? It, it could come in many different other forms, all right? Because I know a lot of car readers say, you're coming into this and you're coming into that. You're coming into romance and you're coming. I look at it, a windfall of abundance can come in many ways because God has truly blessed me, all right? He's blessed me on top of every nonsense that goes on. <clears throat> he still blesses me. Okay? And he really does. So abundance can come in many different forms and way. All right? Um, but when it says um, <clears throat> exciting, career <clears throat> exciting career opportunity, uh, maybe y'all are moving up in the ladder of your career. Maybe y'all are getting a job that you thought that you won't get or um, maybe y'all are, um, uh, get new jobs, okay? Um, doing things that you never thought you was going to do. And it says career opportunity. So, or maybe y'all going into your own business, all right? But, um, that is the beginning of something new and huge, and huge can come in many different forms and ways, okay? But it seems like that path that you on is, is a golden path. And uh, I don't know, I, I look at these readings and I just look at it like, if my golden path is golden, it's definitely golden in a spiritual level <clears throat> with God. It really is because... When when these cards say abundant wealth and all that, I must be wealthy, and I know I'm wealthy in my spirit life, in my spirit world, all right? And I know that for a fact, that I know, all right, now, and I know that God is my provider. So if I'm wealthy on that end, then I'm wealthy, yes, because God has never failed me. So on that point, yeah. <clears throat> now, on a point of, and I'm wealthy because I wake up every day. I'm wealthy because I have food on my table. I have clothes on my back. I have gas in my car. I have money to buy what I need to get. I'm wealthy <clears throat> in many ways. Okay, so wealthy means abundance can mean in many different things. Don't get it fucked up. It don't mean that you're sitting in your house and God's going to throw a bag of uh, 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 um, money and sit on you and you're just going to grab and grab and throw it. Wealthiness can come in many forms and way. Okay? So be fucking thankful for everything you got because that is more than wealth. Okay? Believe in me when I tell you. Alright? Now, but it does says you're purchasing a new home or vehicle. So that means there's money there because purchasing something is you got to have the money to purchase it, okay? Um, coming into career, so you got the career, you got the purchase of a home or vehicle, you got the um, so yeah, you got coming into some money, okay? But that is the past um card, okay? Past, future, a past present, and future, okay, so that is in the past, so in the past, you have to let go of something, all right, to receive your blessings, all right, so now it says, sundress, do it for yourself, now, it says the eight of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the, um, it's like you feel like it's <clears throat> you entrapped, like the lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, taking responsibility for you, for your life now. Now it says do it for yourself, right? With that sundress and that coat. But here it tells you, right? Take control over your own life, all right? Take control over it. Stop feeling like you keep telling yourself you're trapped. Oh, I don't know. I'm trapped. Um, 
<clears throat> I need to do this and do that. And, but I don't know how I'm going to do it because I everything I, I, I do, I, I just can't get it. Some people um can't get what they want. They might have the money, but they can't get it because their credit is fucked up. <coughs> and it's funny that I'm saying that, but I'm not. Because you got some people that are really making money, but their credit is so fucked up that they can't get shit. But they got the money to get what they want. All right? But their credit is fucked up. So if you go for an apartment, a house, or whatever, you know they go through your credit. Unless you're going to pop up what, the milk, <clears throat> whatever, all the money. Did they asking you to pay for that house cash and you got all that damn money? All right? But if you're going to purchase anything, your credit score is coming up. And that's why a lot, a lot of people can't get apartments or anything because their credit score is fucked up. All right? And so they want you to settle <clears throat> for less. And, and what I'm going to tell you is you can settle for less because... Honey, my mother lived in the projects, and my mother had a beautiful apartment in the projects. Okay? She damn sure did. I mean, some people act like, nah, I can't live in no damn project. Now, nah, I, I ain't going to take my... Well, then, that's why you living in your car with your kids, because you can't live in a project. Your, your, but your score is fucked up, so you can't get shit, because your score is fucked up, but you don't want to feel like you can live here and there because you really think you better than that. But, hey, God says you better get what you can get. Okay? And build your score up. And pay for the shit that you ain't paid for, that you fuck shit up. Alright? To get what you need. Alright? And, and I'm telling you, these are people, they got money. They're making money. And that's, the, I'm going to say something. And I'm not going to put nobody down because see I co-signed once upon a time for somebody to get a car and they didn't pay for it and that came on me and I had to pay $10,000 <clears> and it took me a long time to pay for the bitch but that shit was on my credit score because I said I'm not paying for that shit they took my ass to court and garnished that shit out of my fucking check all right, to then I just started paying it on my own because that shit was crazy. And not only that, they went in the bank to three thousand dollars without me even knowing. Yes, they fucking did. When these motherfuckers take you to court, they won't do that to get their money. They won't get their money however they want. They won't get that money because you owe them that money. Nobody told you to co sign. Sometimes we get so stupid, we co sign for motherfuckers and they fucking up our credit where we can't even get nowhere to stay. Decent. So, no, now you don't want to live where you are, but now you're living with your kids. Why? Because you don't want to pay your fucking debt. You need to pay your debt so that you can move along. Okay, move along or do whatever. People do all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, well, well why are you? Oh, because my, my credit score. Well, you need to pay. That means pay your shit. Shit's got to get paid. You don't sweep a, a bill under the table and think that bill's going to sit there and pay itself. No, nah, that bill will remain there and you will be fucked. Do you understand? So rather than to stop the blessings, why don't you pay the blessings? All right? So you can get what you want. <clears throat> so, but here you are being feeling like you trapped. Okay? You lacking self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your own life. And it said do it for yourself. All right? Take the take the blindfolds. <clears throat> See what's in front of you. And do what you got to do. All right? Please do. Tell me. Tell me more about what I need to know. And I don't even know why I said that about the credit. But somebody needed to hear that. I don't even know why I said that about that credit shit, but somebody need to hear that. And I'm telling you, I was there. I was. But I paid that shit off. Thank you, Jesus. And I went and got me what I wanted. Okay? I went and got me what I wanted. After I paid it, 
ain't no problem. Never again would I co-sign anything for anybody. <clears throat> Ever again. Okay? Now, it says, son, paint the sun back into the sky so that everything can be bright, so that the trees and the plants can get that light. Okay? It says, trustworthy, this king of cup, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Trustworthy, honorable, devoted. They're very cautious, someone you can completely trust in, okay? A situation that is safe, a solid romance relationship, hidden but well-intent emotions. All right, this person here, <clears throat> this person here is, wait a minute, let me see something. Yes, it is. So this person here could be the one that's giving you all the advice from here, all right? It says, let them go. So maybe you get advice from somebody here. But they tell you to see everything for what it is and stop acting blind to shit. Open up your eyes. Stop acting like you're trapped in a situation when you're not. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> if you're not happy... And you with someone for all the fucking wrong reasons. It's not good because how do you see yourself in a house with a person you ain't having sex with or nothing, right? But they in your damn house. It's your place. They in your place. All right? Just walking around. I mean, because they living good as fuck with your ass. They living real good with you. So they in your place, living good like the king of Kong, honey, or the queen of Kong, whatever. These motherfuckers come live in your place. Not you live with them, but they live with you. You don't fuck these motherfuckers. You don't do shit with these motherfuckers. But they are in your space. And so you need to make a decision here about what you want to do and see the shit for what it is. Because <clears throat> it says, let them go. And I'm going to keep repeating that shit. Let them go. It says, do it for yourself. And then it says, paint the sun back into your life. Ain't that something? And that is the title of your reading. Do it for yourself. Let them go. Do it for yourself and paint the sun back into your life. That's what it says. So, <clears throat> we may be in a situation that you in, the, in there for many wrong reasons. I'm going to say it again. If I was living with somebody, okay, that that person has everything, that person ain't giving you not even enough to do shit with. They live, they, it's like they living scot free with you. Scot fucking free. And you think that they doing something. They ain't doing shit because they living scot free with you. They might be paying one bill here and one bill there. And you think they paying a lot. They ain't paying for shit. But they living that luxury life living with you. All right? Yeah, they living real good with you. They come a long way with you. All right? And. But you feeling like you trapped because what little they give you, you act like it's a lot. They ain't giving you shit, but they living that beautiful fucking life with you, right? You feel helpless because you don't want to be with that person. But that person's walking around your house living large. You don't even want to be with them. You don't even know why you're with them motherfuckers, Okay. Some of y'all invested years in this situation when it ain't shit. The situation ain't shit. It really ain't. And they, these, these people, and I'm going to keep saying it again, living large and comfortable with you. Okay? <clears throat> but you need to take responsibility for your own happiness and your own action now. And it says, yeah, you got somebody... This coming to you because <clears throat> it says paint the sun back into the sky 
So you got somebody coming back. I mean, coming. Oh, did I say that? Did I just say that? All right, well, then, then that means, I don't know. But I, I did not mean to say the word back. But you got somebody coming, either coming back to you or coming now. Or coming, you know, new, whatever. But I did say back, so I don't know what that means. But worthy, honorable, devoted, okay? And, and it is a cup, guys. So these people may not show you completely, um, like you can trust in these people, but they don't show you love, but they they jealous and they they give you what you need. They they make sure you have, you know, they don't make sure you don't go without. These people make sure you have, but they hit, but they hit him. Uh, it's like they, it's a solid relationship, but to be with a, uh, a same side as you, Pisces, Scorpio, a Cancer, it's like they don't show their emotions, okay? They they got a little cold and off, you know what I mean? But they, to give you good advice, um, they're very devoted, they're very trustful, but, you know, but somebody is coming to you, but they not reaching out to give you the cups, they, 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 they got something to give you, they just sitting there with their cups and they laugh. Like, okay, um, you can come to me. I got something for you. Now, I, I want somebody that's a lot going on. I, I don't want nobody that got a cup on their uh, uh, lap talking about, well, I'm everything you're looking for. Nah, I, I want you to show me. I don't want to talk about shit anymore. I really don't. I want somebody to show me. Show me what, you, what, what you're about. Show me what you got going on. Show me. I don't want to sit there and play no games with no damn body because <clears throat> Pisces, it says let go of them. But it seems like, because this is the past, but it seems like, you know, a windfall of abundance and wide counsel and good fortune. An exciting career, all right? Um, you're getting contact with people, good people. A, a significant purchase of a house or vehicle. Maybe you didn't have a nice vehicle, but now you're driving a new vehicle. You got a new place or whatever. But, um, see, I feel like you let go of this person. And then you got your own shit together. You know, everything is moving fine along in your life. But then the now is <clears throat> do it for yourself. All right? Do it for yourself. It says... Stop feeling like you're trapped. Um, a lack of self-confidence making you feel helpless. Um, bring being afraid to take action. Being afraid to take action. Let shit be. Let it go. Taking responsible for your own life, and that's what you know, That's what you're responsible for. You're not responsible for nobody else, and that's the thing. We take up so many responsibilities with others that. We put ourselves second or we want, it, it's like, it, it's, have you, you know what, you know what's crazy to me? Sometimes we can like a person and we act like we go with the motherfucker and the motherfucker's like, what is she talking about? You know, we ain't seeing each other like that. Or say you have a, a, a intimate relationship with, with somebody. But that's all it is. And you want it to be more. Or in your mind, you think it's more when it's not. So you get trapped into thinking, I'm with this person, or once upon a time, or whatever it is. I just feel like you felt like you was involved with somebody that been long gone. Uh, and you are trapped in that situation, even though and you're feeling helpless about it. But you need to take um, responsibility for your own self, okay? Um you know, maybe you afraid to take action on the once upon a time or take action in where you want to be. Or it says um, you feeling um, trapped in a situation here where the door is open for you to leave anytime you want. Like if you just take your blindfolds off, you will know that that gate is open and you can push it away and just walk away from it. Like, why are you feeling like you trapped in a situation? 
when you're not, especially when you got your own shit and somebody is invading your space, your privacy. Um, it, it's just like, it's like a, a dead weight, a dead person walking around. Like, you know, they need to get going. Like, pack your shit and get the fuck out of here. Like, go. I'm like, some people don't know how to tell somebody, well, it ain't shit here. Don't you know it ain't nothing between us? Or, I mean, you been with a person and then all of a sudden it's like literally, and I ain't going to say a roommate because a roommate's pay, you know, half of everything. No, these motherfuckers ain't paying half of shit. They pay for this and they think they doing a lot paying for that. Or bring a bag of grocery and they think that's a whole lot they doing. Nah, they ain't doing shit because you can do all that shit alone. I mean, I feel like you <clears throat> are trapped in a situation that you don't need to be in. Like, these people are blocking you from your blessings because you are the one that's feeling trapped. When you can tell anybody or everybody to keep on going. All right? Somebody is invading your privacy. Someone is in your space that don't need to be in your space. And I'm going to say something to y'all. If, it's, if you are in a situation where you have your own place and they got their own place, what a blessing it is. Because then I, I that would be so easy for me to cut a motherfucker off. What? But when somebody lives with you and they need to be gone, honey, the hardest thing is to bring people to live in your house and the hardest thing is for you to get rid of motherfuckers. Because they act like they don't know how to go. All right? They need to go. Um, or, or what did, What is it? It's like you live in a delusional. It's like you live in, um, in your head that you need to help somebody, even though they can find help with over there. <clears throat> go with your family. Go with whoever, the people that makes them happy. Go with them. Leave me alone. Move your shit out of here. You understand? That's the way it is. You need to get out of that entrapment <clears throat> and stop worrying about grown people, what they're going to do when they get the fuck out of your crib or breaking off somebody with letting shit be go. Don't worry about what they're doing, who they, what they, what they doing, whatever. It, once they out of your crib, they out. Once they out away from you, out of your life, they out of your life. Who gives a fuck? What they doing, but it's like you entrapped with this shit. It's like you don't know how to let somebody uh, tell somebody to get the fuck going or whatever. You know, it's like you don't want to be with somebody, but they in your space. All right. Then literally in your space. I ain't talking about in your head, in your damn space. Okay. Um, but lack of self confidence and making uh making you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. You need to take action on this. Taking responsibility for your life. Let motherfuckers know they got to go or break shit off or whatever. But let people move on. Don't be afraid because how you want to know what you what, what is this when you got somebody that don't even. I'm telling you, <clears throat> some people are with people for all the fucking wrong reasons. Some people stay in relationship. This is what they say. Well, I'm in it because I got my baby. I'm in it because, um, you know, he takes care of everything for me. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, I'm in it because um, I don't have no kind of income. He pays everything. I'm in it because, um, you know, everything is due with money. Everything is due because you have nothing going on for you. Or even if you got going on, this person you you depending on them because of in your fucking at my kids or because we've been together so long or because of their um pensions or it's it's just a bunch of shit or why you with with a person okay and I'm telling you it's crazy or well, that person can be with you for all that reason she got her own place. I don't have to pay shit because whatever I give her is good enough. Ain't that a bitch? I eat well. She signed. I got a card that she co-signed. She, she got me a car. Okay. I can do whatever I want. I feel good. She watches my clothes. She cooks for me. She. What the fuck? 
And you stuck in that shit when you want to say, get the fuck out of here. And it's like you really stuck in it because you don't know how to move away from it. That's the crazy part, right? But then it says, paint a picture back into your life. The sun. I'm sorry, not a picture. The sun. So that you can illuminate everything around you. It says, illuminate. Okay? Make sure that you illuminated everything that you can see, that you can give the plants, the sun, the trees, and all of that. So you can see what you need to see. All right? But somebody here that's coming or whatever is worth having in your life. Honorable, devoted, and all of that. It, but You know what I mean? But <clears throat> this person's cup is, to me, when somebody ain't handing you a cup, and the cup is sitting on their lap. It's like, um, well, you know, I don't fucking have time for the bullshit. It's like, you can keep the cup on your lap if you want. I don't give a fuck. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But I'm going to tell you what I know about these people. Okay? Because I, I live with one. And my son is a Scorpio. And I am a Pisces. So I had to... One, two, three, all in one. Okay? They're very standoff. I mean, they can give you what you want, what you need, but they very stubborn. Right? Um, Pisces men, they don't like going out. They like to be homebodies like we. Um, cancer men like to go and show their asses off because they think they like a bitch. Uh, dress, we, we all, all sides, all three sides dress fly and shit. We some fly motherfuckers. But cancer like to be the spotlight of the show, okay? Money makers, they like to have nice things. We all, all three sides do. But they complicated when it comes to love, okay? They stand off, and that's the thing. Um... But they make sure you look like a queen and you're treated like a queen, but they're too much. It comes too much with having them. But, and it shows right here, because look at the cup. The cup is sitting on their fucking lap. Okay? I guess they wait for this shit to come to them. Who the fuck know? But, honey, please, what I'm telling you is, <clears throat> whatever, everything I say to you, okay, it's crazy, but that's the way life is. And I'm going to tell you something. Some of y'all are with people that will beat your... F you do everything for them. And they will beat your ass. And you have to run and escape with these babies pregnant and all. Oh, they don't give a fuck if you pregnant and all. They still beat your ass. These some sick ass motherfuckers. Some of y'all are with drug dealers that want to live that fast life and and, and act like they're drug dealers because a drug dealer to me got shit popping. You got them corner-ass drug dealers that want to be drug dealers but ain't fucking shit. I ain't, I don't fuck with a motherfucker that was up there. I ain't fuck with no motherfucking no corner-ass motherfuckers. I don't know what no corner-ass motherfuckers are. Corner-ass motherfuckers to me are one of these. Did they, um, everything they own, they don't own shit. They lease shit. Everything they have, if they die today, you ain't getting shit because they ain't got shit to give you. Okay, they family will swim in it, whatever they live with you, and take your ass to take whatever it is, picture, whatever. But they ain't got shit. All right, they wannabes. All right, so whatever it is, honey, y'all need to know where y'all at. And stop giving this um, free boardroom and food for these motherfuckers that, that don't have shit to offer you. Okay, and they offer you one little thing. You think they offer you a lot. And you worrying about who they sleeping with, who they ain't sleeping with. These motherfuckers ain't worth shit. Shit, let the next bitch have the motherfucker. What the fuck you got to worry about it for? Okay, but you need to wake up and smell the coffee, honey. Please do. Wake up and smell the coffee because you are still in denial about shit. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Tell me more about all of this. Tell me more. It says you're ready. You're ready for all the things that are coming your way. Okay, tell me more. It says the yes car for you to get out of that entrapment that you fucking in. Move the fuck on. I'm ready. Yes. 
ready? Yes, I am to get the fuck out of that shit. Okay. It says I'm ready. Yes, I am to get the fuck out of that. Take action. I'm ready. Yes, to take action. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Get the fuck. Let the motherfuckers go. Okay. You need to move on from people that are not worth your damn time. Or whatever it is. I don't know what you caught up in your fucking head. Who the fuck know? The first card that came out the Knight of Wands. This bitch is dancing her life away. Dancing to the beat while she banging on and, and, and moving on. Look look at the horse back there like, yes, 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 yes. The Knight of Wands, you understand? The Knight of Wands, um, you got to understand, baby. Sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. The Knight of Wands pursued in. All right, manifesting the fire with the, you know, lighting that fire to inspire you to do something. Okay, passion. All right, pursuing your dreams, a fast energy, courage, taking inspiration and action. You, your reading is about taking action, moving on. Let's get going with it. Okay, um. The pursuit of an adventure means to move the fuck on from what the shit you act. And I'm going to say this shit clear as day. It says, you're ready. Yes, you are ready. To do what? To take action. And it says, pursuit and taking action. Got the fire in you to move on from whatever it is. Yes. And it ain't nothing like moving the fuck on from shit, right? The queen, the queen of swords, and I love the queen of swords. She's, she, she don't put them, she don't say, fuck this. Let me put my heart on the side and take care of this shit. All right. Um, the knight of wands, uh, uh, Ari Sagittarius Aaliyah, the queen of swords, uh, Aquarius, okay, Gemini, Libra. Um, but the queen of swords, I love her because she's not into all kinds of shit, but she down to get right to the fucking point of shit. All right. She, I ain't got to look all good. I fucking still tell you, cut your ass off. And I'm not all into that. I'm, I'm thugged out, thugged out. Okay. I speak with wisdom and clarity. Um, the thoughts where you are at. Making, uh, deciding, making a decision, um, communication, wise and uh, with knowledge, counseling, integrity, honesty, being, per um, uh, making a decision that needs to be made in, with intelligence, being direct, seeking the truth. Okay, you you looking at things as and you looking that way. You seeking, you looking for the truth. But I don't know how much truth you looking for. Cause sometimes, check this out, sharp and sometimes cold communication. Strive to use your words wisely and to refrain from being mean or emotionless, um, difficult, diff having difficult, a message to use your head more than your heart, okay, a message to use your head more than your thought, than your heart, okay, bitterness, like you like shit, you know, like, uh-uh, when, when, when you get this young lady here, you know, she bringing everything to the table, okay? Sometimes, you know, uh, Aquarius woman, she is coming to seek it all. She's coming to find out the truth about the matter. Sometimes you can pull people's cards out and the people don't like what you say to them because you say it bluntly and cold. Um, also, you being cold to somebody, I feel like, Whatever it is, I, I don't know, but maybe, you know, 
You want to move on from this. It's time to move on. It's time for you to set the fire to moving on from something that you've been, you know, trying to see it for what it is. But you're seeking a lot of new information about whatever it is. I feel like you looking for some type of information, looking to speak direct to a person, um, seeking the truth, see it as in black and white. Um, can cut the motherfuckers off because you ain't playing, okay? But it says the the page of wands, very, very inspirational. You got the knight and the page, and in between you got the sword, okay? So you got Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, but in between these two cards of being able to be, you know, uh, setting up that fire to see things, to do things in a new way, right? You got the page of wands. Um, a lot of sparks, a lot of what I can do, a lot of, um, the page of young, something young, something maybe, uh, childish, okay, but the page of young, very happy, um, active, okay, as the dreamer of my dreams, I, I can pursue, okay, you can light the fire. It's something here that you want to be explosive and create. Um, creating something from beginning. A newfound inspiration. Honoring a new skill. A passion. Trying new things. Giving yourself permission to dream. Great, A great energy for creating. A new ideas. A brainstorm. A young youth spark. Something sparking in your life. But I'm telling you, whatever it is, I'm going to make this clear. It says, paint the sun back into your life. Paint it back into the sky, right? And it's somebody here, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer coming to you. But I feel like that person is taking this sweet old time to come to you. And they got the cup sitting on their lap. And they ain't saying, here it is. They're saying, here it is on my lap. You know what I mean? And it says, take action on this. All right? Take action on this person or whatever. This person wants to take action. But it's all new. It's something that's very creative. Something that they want to do with you or you with them. All right? It's, it's something at the beginning of stages. Let me tell you what happened here in the past. It says let them go. Okay? And once upon a time, you... Looks to me like you gave them everything. You probably co-signed for them to have something. They fucked your credit up. But they see you like this mama, okay, that can take care of them. Or them, or you sitting there because everything that they got, that probably ain't shit. It says you're ready. You're ready to do what? To, to take action, all right? To move on, all right? Now. Where you at now, let this uh, do it for yourself. Make the decision for yourself that you're feeling like you trapped. The lack of self-confidence making you feel helpless. Um, be Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Okay? It says the yes card. You can do this. All right? And it says the Queen of Swords because you want to see everything. You're not playing. You need to be find out the truth. It seems like something, I don't know, uh, maybe you said something to someone. And maybe you hit something on the nail. And maybe now you, the response that that person gave you is in your head. All right? But it seems like whatever it is, it ain't even worth fucking having. It ain't even worth being around. You're there for all the wrong fucking reasons. It's dead weight to you. Let it be gone. Let it be good and gone. Or just move on from, you know, doing things. Um, It wasn't shit there anyway. Because people can do things to you and act like they, they... Some people can be so fucking selfish. And some people can be fucking doing shit to you in your face. All right, and then shit happens in your face that you let it go for so long being in your face that now the person feel comfortable doing it over and over and over and over to you. All right? 
So it's time to cut and go. They, what they don't realize is that everything that's in the dark was shining the light. And you know what? Who gives a fuck if, if you don't see it and you hear about it? Who gives a fuck if you never see it or hear about it? But it's, if, if it's trash, it's trash. Trash is trash. I mean, you can't change who people are because you created trash. You got what you allowed, okay? But it's time to move on. But even with the person that, it seems like we always give people that we give too much or do too much for. And it never comes back to you the way you want it. It's always a lot of shit with a lot of shit. Either you have somebody want to give you everything and don't want to love you, or you have... Everybody, somebody don't want to give you shit and cares for you, but still do a lot of fucked up ass shit. All right. But you need to make a move. And the title of the reading is, and I can't stop saying it. Let them go. Do it for you. Paint the sun back into the sky. All right. You are worth all of that, Pisces. If you need a private reading, get it from me or anybody you want. It's time for you to give yourself every bit of everything you want. And remember, don't act like things can't move or that you won't be okay without trash. Because God will always be your supplier. Do you understand? I'll talk to you later. Bye.